Hello, praise the Lord. We had technical difficulties tonight. Praise the Lord. But we still going to come with the uh, lesson tonight right now. We thank God for you being here. Amen. We praise the Lord. We just had a little malfunction on uh, the laptop. So now we are going to do it from the phone. Hey, praise the Lord. Let us say, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Amen. So I, I, I was uh, talking earlier about certain things, but I want you to take this scripture and this scripture is taken from uh, John, the first chapter, the 14th verse. And tonight our lesson is this is how you know Jesus is God. Amen. This is how you know that Jesus is God. God. There is some religions to, that that are out there that believe that Jesus is one person and God is another, and some just study God and some just study Jesus. But I want you to know, and I want you to just take this one scripture first, and I will go into the other scripture in a few minutes. Amen. But John, the first chapter, the fourteenth verse. I want you to look at that. And it says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Amen. That shows you just that one verse that he was made flesh. The gods that we know spoke into position and came to uh, save us from our sins and to rescue us. Amen. With grace, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. Amen. That he sent himself down. That's what it means in that verse, that he sent himself down here to earth in the flesh to understand and to go through and to teach us. And to what? Deliver us from sin. Now, I want you to go to John, the 14th chapter, 1 to the 9th verse. Uh, I'm going to say again, John, the 14th chapter, 1 through the 9th verse. I want you to go there because uh, the, tonight we're going through these verses. Uh, it says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. If you believe in God, you believe also in me. Now, those that believe in God, that means you have to believe in Jesus Christ. Because remember he said, I and my father is one. Uh, you can't deny what the word of God has already said. And because Jesus Christ is talking in these verses and letting us know. And he says in the second verse, in my father's house are many mansions. This is a teaching tool for Jesus Christ to, to mention the father's house because I and my father's one. You remember that? It said, if, and then it said, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Listen to the words that, that he's saying here. How is he going to know that that mansions is there? And, and then he said, I would have told you. That means that I would have told you a long time ago. Because in the beginning, what was the word? In the, in the beginning was the word. And the word, what? Was God. And then the word became flesh, which is Jesus Christ. So we can't separate these things. Hey, praise God. Hallelujah. We ought, we ought to know that God is a loving God. Now look at the third verse. He says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Listen to that. That where I am, there ye may be also. So he's omnipresent. Even if Jesus Christ is here and you die, because he said what? I'll be, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. See, he's omnipresent. He's here and he's in heaven. He's here 
and he's in hell. Remember he said, even if you make your bed in hell, I am there. <laughs> I'm not present. Praise God. God is an awesome God, and he's showing us that Jesus and God is one. Because he said, my father and I is the one. So let's go to the fourth verse. It says, and rather I go, ye know, and the way ye know. See that? Whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Do we actually know? See, this knowing, you know, when we accepted Christ as our personal Savior, we got to realize that there is a way that God is showing us through Jesus Christ that we understand this is the only way. Because here, now, his disciples was kind of dumbfounded when he when he mentioned that. Look at what uh, Thomas said. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? My God, you're a disciple now, and you ask the question. It was legit, because would you ask him the question, because you've been taught about God for so long, and God gave the word, and God gave the Ten Commandments, and he did this, and he did that. And and all the time you 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 was into God, God, God. Now here you got a teacher with you, a rabbi with you. Now you got to come up with some answers. <laughs> you would have asked the same question. Don't doubt Thomas, because you know he was a doubting Thomas, but he wanted to know for sure. I don't blame Thomas. Everybody blaming Thomas for being a, a doubting person, but he wanted to be sure. Don't you want to be sure that your election is sure? Now, let's go into the sixth verse. And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but what? By me. Now, that shows you that your, you got a free ticket. If you can see me and believe in me and, and come to me, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that you go that way. There's no other way given to anybody, not your education, not your, your money, not your status. You're going to leave that here, not your home. You know, everybody into this materialistic world now. I got to go, go to work, not your job. It doesn't matter what you have, uh, you know, but you need to know the way. Not your ring, not your gold, your jewelry. This isn't the way. But God said, he said to Thomas, you know, that you, you're going to know what I give you here. If you just hold on and you just listen to me. Jesus said to him that he's the way, the truth, and the life. What life do you have? There's no other life. My God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Don't you you enjoy this kind of life that God has given you? Amen. So we understand here that Jesus has given us the truth. And this is the truth and this is the life. He, always, he never lied to us. All the word that he's been giving us in the word of God, he didn't lie to it. He, God is not a liar. Amen. Let's go to uh, verse 7. If ye had known me, Ye should have known my father also, and from his forth ye know him, and what? Have seen him. Now, you've been with me for a long time. That's what Jesus said. Do you actually know your friends? Do you actually know your wife, your husband? Do you actually know them, or you just know of them? But do you know their heart? Do you actually know that they believe in God? Or that they, you know without a shadow of doubt because God has given us, he given us, he given us all kinds of things to understand. And I thank God for it because he has blessed us with this. But he, he, he said that you know it, you know, you know it, you know it. 
And, and it says, let's go, let's go over to the 8th verse. He says, uh, uh, here's another disciple, Philip, saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Wait a minute. You're a disciple. You've been following Jesus. You've been seeing him uh, stop the elements, the wind, and control the, 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 the rain and, and stop the sea from raging. You done seen him walk the water. You done seen him in different places at one time. You have seen him uh, go towards the crucifixion. But yet, you've been with me for a long time and you haven't seen the Father. And here I am looking at you. And you followed me. I think a lot of people don't know this is in their Bible. That, that God is showing us right here that Jesus is God. Because I, I don't think they really know uh, that Jesus is God and God is Jesus. He said, I am my father's one. So we got to realize Philip and them, they're asking the same question that all men ask today. You know, is God real? Is he, is he, is he, you know, a, a God himself? Is he Jesus? He said, you've been with me for a long time. He told Philip, you, you've been following with me. And you understand? Listen to Jesus. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you? And yet have thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father, and have said, Thou then show us the Father. Now you're going to say that after I done did all these things. I, you have, most of y'all have seen me go to the weddings and change water into wine and, 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 and bringing people from the dead. And, and some of you see me uh, raise Lazarus. Only God can do that. So if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Come on, Philip. <laughs> Come on. You see the sunshine every day. There was a beautiful day today. You've seen the rain. You've seen all kinds of things happening. You even recovered from sickness. How did you do it? There has to be a God somewhere. You ever hear that song? There must be a God somewhere. Because God has spent time with us and showed us the way. And I thank God for you spending this time with me. Amen. We uh, apologize for coming later because we had some problems with our laptop. But God, if you don't have Plan A, you got to have plan B. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for giving us, and I want you to write those scriptures down. John, tonight we came out of John, the 14th chapter, 1 through 9. This shows you that Jesus is God. And now, uh, in, in the other verse uh, that I had, and I want you to write that down. That's John, the first chapter. In the 14th verse, it said, And the word was made flesh and dwell among us, and we beheld his glory, us of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace, showing you that Jesus is God. Wow. And somebody never knew that was in your Bible. <laughs> Have a nice day. And may God bless you and enjoy this evening.